And they're just trying to get through it at this point. It seems all the power back on through the IE this late hour. Earlier, though, some of the outages coming because of planned outages, maintenance that they had planned actually weeks ahead of time. I know, of all things, some bad planning there, you would think. And then you have a few of the other outages that hit today. They came as a result of this power grid being stretched by the searing heat. Have a look. Power outages in the IE. As the searing heat pushes the power grid to its limit, several outages reported through the Inland Empire, leaving thousands without electricity. It's just super stuffy. Even when the windows open and stuff like that, it was just super stuffy. You just, uh, it's like kind of overwhelming. So that's why you kind of like just need to get out of it, just start washing cars, get like get water on you, get in the pool. This outage affecting some 16,000 customers here along Sharon Way in Harupa Valley, many starting off their day without power or AC. I just woke up in a, in a sweaty, <laughs> woke up all sweaty and all that. So by the time it was 6 a.m. I was already out. The power already out, he says, but even that early, the heat's already on as the IE's temperature easily soared past 100 degrees. A little bit of air, a lot of water, and uh, stay indoors. Outdoors, you would think Lake Arrowhead is a much cooler escape, right? <laughs> think again, not with this heat wave that pushed the lakefront temperature up into the mid-90s. Right now, we got a nice breeze on the lake. It's, it's, it's a hot day up here for us, but a hot day for us is 90 degrees. Uh, so it, it's, it's all about perspective. It's still hot, but at least with the lake, it's possible to cool down. Reason enough for utility crews to all be on standby. With a heat wave like this, the last thing you want to lose is your AC. It's like the worst time that it, it can go out right now because it's just like over 100. Tell you, it still feels like over 100 out here this late hour. Now, live, that really is a growing concern from the utility crews. When you talk to them out here on the streets, they're saying we're in the early days of this heat wave, and already we see this power grid being stretched. We are in no way past the, the toughest days of this heat wave, even going to get hotter out here in the IE, especially as we head toward the weekend. So I think at this point, when you talk to folks out here, they're just holding their breath, hoping the power grid holds up. For now, we're live here in the IE at Lascos. Back to both of you we go.